Howdy folks, it is General Heat here, once again, and for today's video we're doing another tech video. So, one thing I've always wondered for ages is, you may have noticed that game controllers, you know, Xbox controllers, 360, one original Xbox, even PlayStation controllers, Nintendo controllers, all that, you, you know what they all have in common? They pretty much all have uh, rumble packs in them, or rumble motors, so when you play games, there's, you got vibration in games. Some people like that, some people don't. But the point is, pretty much every game console controllers, or really any controller these days, you can get like those uh, off-brand, or like those third-party like Razer controllers, or um, do they still make Mad Cat controllers? Or Hyperkin makes them at least. Um, but yeah, they all have rumble in them, or vibration. But what about like, oops. You ever notice we never have rumble mouse or rumble keyboards? Why is that, you know, like th that, that just ruins the mouse experience now for people that like rumble but don't want to use a controller. Uh, so as it turns out, even though like there's pretty much no rumble mouse these days, some, some companies have made rumble mouse before. So here is a really old mouse from the late 90s, early 2000s. I don't remember the exact year, but it's called the V mouse, the VM1. And this mouse looks pretty retro, but what's cool about this mouse is that it actually has, it's a USB mouse and it actually has a vibration motor in it. So you can have vibration while playing games with a mouse. So we're gonna be checking this out for this video. Now this is a pretty old mouse. In fact, it says the supported operating system. It, it only goes with like Windows 2000 and NT. I think 2000 is the newest. Uh, so it doesn't even have Windows XP. That's how old this mouse is. But it should still work because the way it does rumble is actually pretty interesting. Uh, a one-year limited warranty. <laughs> That's good to know. <laughs> Even though it's been like probably over two decades since this mouse was released. Uh, so put this here. And of course, the mouse itself. Designed by AVB. Or engineered by AVB. And, oh, it's actually a wheel mouse. I thought it was a laser optical mouse. That's weird because it says like, it says the resolution of the mouse is 400 DPI. That usually refers to like optical mouses or laser mouses. Oh well, that is quite the throwback then to have a wheel mouse. How does this mouse work? It's actually a pretty sizable mouse. Like here's compared to like a Razer mouse. Um, the size comparison, I think it's slightly longer than it, the Razer mouse. Uh, but this mouse has three ports on it. So it has a USB port has a headphone jack port and a headphone output port. So how does this work? Well, the interesting thing about this is that the rumble, it's not like a controller. It doesn't use the X input uh, DLL or, or any like built in like Xbox functions for rumble that a lot of games use these days. Instead, the way it does it is kind of janky actually. It takes sound input. So like the uh, audio from the game, you, it puts inputs into that and it's basically like a like a headphone. So whatever sound from a game, if it's loud enough, like a boom or something like that, or a gunshot, that'll make it vibrate. But that also means like the soundtrack, like if there's a lot of drums or something going on in the soundtrack, it'll also make it vibrate. So this could be a little little crazy. <laughs> but let's let's try it out. The mouse is hooked up, it does work, uh, and you can see it's plugged in here. This is the mouse's USB and the headphone jack is plugged in here. We're using a mini PC, so it's convenient. You can actually see the whole thing. Uh, and of course I have my Razer keyboard plugged in. <laughs> so little uh, best of both worlds, blast on the past, I guess. Little RGB Razer keyboard and <laughs> a wheel mouse <laughs> for Halo MCC. Already vibrating just from, yeah, just from the sounds in the game, the environmental sounds. I need to dial it down more, but you can see what's going on here and why rumble is not used for, or why vibration is not used for mouse very often or at all. Because it messes with your accuracy. This is like your direct input into the game. And if it's vibrating a lot, it's gonna be really shaky. And you can see it's already happening. I'm not touching the mouse. That's the rumble. And I'm not even shooting. If I shoot, it vibrates even more, which is actually pretty cool, but it's way too loud. So I need to dial it down even more. There you go. It's still slightly vibrating, so let's dial down even more. There you go. Now, now it's not vibrating. 
But if I shoot, and now it barely vibrates. So it's just a matter of finding the right setting. It's, it's this one's okay, but like it's still weak now. But but it's still vibrating from the music. So if if you want like a good vibration experience like this, you have to turn the music off. Otherwise, it's gonna get like really bad. But it's not even that much music during this part. <laughs> it's a lot of environmental sounds. Let's find like a multiplayer map that's a little bit more quiet. All right, yeah, when I charge it up, I feel the vibration. I, I can make it more sensitive now, actually. That's, okay, that's better. More power. <laughs> more power! All right, that's better now. So for games like CE, when where it's like not as much crazy like background sound going on, it actually works pretty well. Yeah, that that works. Uh, let's all right, let's put max sensitivity. Yeah, that's pretty cool actually. Warthog chain gun. Let's try that. Uh, so this is a wheel mouse, so like it's not as ideal for gaming anymore as like you know optical mouses these days or laser mouses. So it's kind of weird to control it, but I guess it works. Oh yeah, this works great. I honestly don't think it messes with my aim that much, uh, but I can see why in like a high precision like game, it could mess with your aim if it's like rumbling a lot. But I, I think this is pretty cool. So the reason why this has to use sound for vibration is because back in like the late 90s and early 2000s, uh, so the way modern controllers, not every modern controller, but a lot of modern controllers, the way they work is that they use uh, the uh, a feature called like the X input, which I guess Microsoft made for Xbox controllers. And that's pretty universal nowadays. A lot of controllers use that as well. And it, it gets like digital uh, inputs from the game. Like it's, it's like an API that the game uses to do vibration. And uh, a lot of controllers accept that nowadays, not just Xbox controllers. But back in the 90s and early 2000s, that didn't exist. That feature didn't exist back then. Uh, to get rumble in games, it had to be very specific. So. This mouse is kind of like a generic, like, like catch-all kind of um, rumble, and that's that's how you had to do it back then because there was no like universal API or feature to do rumble in games. Uh, but most PC games nowadays do support that by default. But this mouse does not use that because of how old it is. Uh, I would bet that if there were newer uh, mouse or mice or whatever the pro is for computer mice mouses. Uh, I bet it does a modern one these days. It might be able to use like that built-in rumble feature that controllers, modern controllers use. So maybe it wouldn't have to rely on sound as much, but they're really rare. I think there's only like one newer-ish mouse that's like really expensive that has this. Uh, there is, I'll post it in like the video here and like a link or somewhere, but I, I don't know if it's like, if it actually uses the same X input features that, um, or whatever, vibration DLL uh, that modern controllers and games use these days. So that's the limitation of this. But Ideally, it would be good for multiplayer games, less uh, soundtrack. Yeah, I mean, yeah, but see, even modern games have soundtracks in multiplayer now, like Halo Infinite. It's like a soundtrack. Ambient game. sound effects, probably. And there's a, lot, there's a lot more ambient sounds, too, in modern games. Mm. I mean, I'll, here, I'll try, I'll try a Halo 3 multiplayer map real quick. So, yeah, here I am in multiplayer. You know, actually, Halo 3 multiplayer is fine. I guess multiplayer in general is fine. There are some, like, ambient sounds, but it's not as bad. And if I shoot the assault rifle, yeah, it's fine. It's, um... <laughs> yeah, it's already, like, rumbling <laughs> in my hand. Just from the music. There's, there's, like, no... Really no action going on in the scene right now. It's just a cutscene. But the, the music, the soundtrack alone, is just making this rumble, like, crazy. Uh... <laughs> well, not, like... It's not, it's not that bad, but, you know, it's not supposed to be rumbling. But it's also a max sensitivity, but even if I lower it, like, it, it's still a little bit of rumble, and if I get the gameplay, I'm, it's gonna be like almost nothing. I can actually kind of feel the beat of the soundtrack, the, uh, that, you know, the, the Warthog Run soundtrack. But, it, but then, like, when there's a lot of explosions, then it kind of gets, like, messed up. <laughs> Alright, so, that wraps up for this video. Uh, the, all I can say is that the rumble mouse, or in this case, the the M1 V mouse is interesting. Um, it, it's unfortunately hampered by its age. 
because like it uses like older mouse tech like the, the the ball mouse and stuff like that so it's not as accurate or fancy as like a laser mouse but it's um it's a very very interesting concept to have rumble mouse uh but unfortunately the way it she's rumble by using sound the game's sound i i'm not really a big fan of that approach it's just it's just not accurate especially for modern games have a lot of like soundtrack and love environmental sounds and stuff like that for so for those modern games this just doesn't work well but for older games you could it might work okay but ultimately i think like i think the concept is great actually and i would like to see more rumble mouse you know come out as like an option because I, I think there could be some interest in it i mean what, what do you guys think actually because I, I don't i don't do like a lot of heavy pc gaming but um, as like a, for those of you who are definitely like PC gamers, like dedicated PC gamers, something like that, or primarily PC gamers, w would you ever get like a Rumble Mouse? Do you, do you, if you play like games on PC with a controller, do you turn vibration off or do you actually uh, keep the vibration on? And for those of you who do play with vibration, would you play vibration on a mouse? I'm kind of curious because I, I think it'd be cool to have um, vibration on a mouse. But if they ever do bring this concept back, like any company, like if Razer would make like a vibration mouse, um, I would hope they don't use like the sound method. I would hope they use like the same method that controllers use, using like an API or the DLL that uh, achieves like actual vibration in games. Yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, and this brings us to the end of the video. Uh, if you liked it, make sure to leave a like, leave thoughts and comments. I know there's anything else we check out or look into. But aside from that, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.